Great Did game. It. What is your thoughts on Claypool not playing much after the drop? Uh, he was in, though. That's the thing. Like, not playing much. He's right. But he came in, I think, the series yeah. following him not being out there. Right. He played. He was definitely out there. I just think as a whole on offense, it was a weird game. Like, Yeah, who are you pointing to and yeah. saying amazing performance? Because none of the guys, like, I mean, first off, none of the guys really had rhythm. I don't feel like it, it outside of that one drive that Time we had. Time of possession. They had two yeah. to one on us. 40 minutes to, say, to 20, basically. Yeah, outside of like that one, the, the scoring drive we had. Like outside of that, we didn't really get a lot of sustained momentum on offense. The running game, obviously, we saw what that looked like. 17 carries, 35 total rushing yards. And that included a, I mean, what was that? The, uh, I think, was it Deontay or Claypool had the little run? Those were our only successful yeah, running Yeah, that was really. it. Yeah, other than that. Nashi I mean, got a bad, third and bro. short to get us a first down, yeah. I remember. But that was about it. Yeah, we couldn't do anything there. Passing wise, we really didn't take advantage on the perimeters like that. But at the same time, it was multiple reasons for that as well. So, yeah, I, I just I don't think anyone had like an egregious performance. No, but I just thought as a whole, the Titans did what they wanted to do defensively. Like, well, they I'd executed the what they were trying. I would to say do. the line they didn't play that well. But that's every week with the line. It is. Like, that's what yeah, I'm saying. Like, that, that doesn't, enough. like, change. Yeah. I'm like, they, they've they been playing. Like, even in the weeks where we're like, oh, they're playing good. It's like, no, they're not. They're playing the exact same way they've been playing. They have moments. They have moments. They have moments. That's it. So, yeah, it's like that yesterday wasn't like a, man, this is the worst performance I've ever seen. Because, like, no, nah, they ain't been no. doing that, bro. They're not the worst this season. That. Definitely not, not the worst right. this season. It's like, it, you can't it, say that. Unfortunately, we can't say that. But yeah, it's like, no, it was running not into the worst, a brick bro. Wall and, yeah. and bent on some of these dropbacks. Yeah. Again, no time. But yeah, we made the most of it. Yeah. Rhythm's a good point because just the amount of that they had the ball, really. Because right. whenever we got the ball off those turnovers, we got those field goals. It's right. not like we got well, anything really going. But the thing that I will say is this that I did like about our offense in the midst of it being no splash, you know, realistically, they didn't turn the ball over. And when you're talking about in a game like this, that was the difference. They get, yeah. man, we gave up 200 yards on the ground again. 200 yards didn't rushing on like the it. ground, and it did not feel like it. But the reason is because we got the timely turnovers on defense. Mm -hmm. So even though they were moving the ball, we were able to get off the field. We were great in the red zone. And we're, for us on offense, what did we do? We still we got our field goals when we got there in the red zone, and we didn't turn the ball over. When you watch a game like that, and you say, man, well, you know what? You look at the numbers like, well, how does this work out? Man, we don't do this. We didn't do that. We gave up a ton here. That's the, the, the difference in these type of games. And we can win like that. But we have to play clean. Winning time. We, uh, winning as, football. As win, hey, that was winning football As yesterday. long as you play clean, as long as on offense you don't turn the ball over, defensively, you got to pick You got to pick what you're going to do. If you're going to allow a lot of yardage, you have to create turnovers and be great in the red zone. If you don't do those two things, well, you can't allow a lot of yards. You got to be stone words. You know what I mean? You got to make sure that teams came with the ball. But you have to pick which one you are. Now, at times, we've seen our defense be that stone wall where you just can't move it. We might not generate the terms, but you just can't move the ball. Yesterday was yeah, a we different, had some nice three right. and outs. Yesterday was a little a different, right? So, so when you get those type of situations, it's like, man, you know what? We can win like this. Now, I would caution that, man, that style of play, as we know, you have to be perfect or close to it because if you have a turnover, if you give up a big play, if you give up too much in special teams, that can be the difference in those type of games. But right now. If we can just stay clean like how we doing and the defense can continue to generate the turnovers like they did yesterday, you man, we can win these next three with no problem just like that. And today's episode is brought to you by DraftKings Casino. Yes, indeed, baby. The awesome app that they have, which we already let you know, it is safe, it is secure, most importantly, it is reliable. I mean, it's a fun app, too. I mean, you talk about your table games that you could play when you're at a casino. You're able to do that on the app and as it's well. getting a little cold right now so you yes. might be less apt to take the trip to the casino why Absolutely. not just get by the fireside load up the app come on now play some blackjack you can't go wrong with that or if you're not a black if you want to do the slots you can do the slot machines i mean it's a ton of games that you're able to play with DraftKings casino but deke you hit on something pretty cool bro what's that you know i was thinking about when you said downloading the app right because that means it would be their first time using it yeah well, you know, when it's your first time downloading the DraftKings casino app, you can type in a promo code. And you know what that promo code is? Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Let's yeah, see. Yeah, it's he pretty simple. Uh-oh. 
Uh-oh. My memory's been getting bad, Uh-oh. but not too bad. Uh-oh. It's, it's simply Moats. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, the promo code is Moats. If you use that when you first sign up on the DraftKings Casino app, you will receive up to $2,000 in deposit bonus money. It is an awesome, awesome concept. So with that being said, man, download the app. Stop wasting time and use that promo code so you can have an opportunity to make a little money. But Deke, but Deke. You know, it's something that we have to talk about. What's that? Sometimes with gambling applications, people have problems. Sometimes people, you know, they don't know when to stop. And sometimes when you have a gambling problem, there's a number you should call Deke. What's now, since, since I care about you, I'm going to just tell you what it is, okay? Okay. <clears throat> You're just going to tell me? I'm going to tell you that you need to call 1-800-GAMBLER. I say, oh, 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 you better call 1-800-GAMBLER. I say, I say, you better call oh, 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 oh. 1-800-GAMBLER. 